Greetings and salutations all, I am Relaxed Gamer and I am proud to bring you this episode of Something Different. So in this episode, I guess you could call it series, in this series I'll be going over the vanilla basics of Space Engineers. Um, as you can see right here, this little icon, you will most likely not see that on your screen because this means that I have actually completed the uh, learning to survive tutorial. Uh, I highly suggest everybody, or scenario rather, I highly suggest everybody go and complete that as soon as possible. Um, it will help you out a lot. But for the purposes of this, we'll start uh, just by starting a new game. So we'll go new game, we'll go custom game, Select a star system. Um, I don't care if this is offline or online, but whatever. So we will go SE Tutorial Series. I uh, will stay in survival because this is going to be important. Uh, I have mods, but I don't want to put any on this because I want this to be a vanilla. Because, in all honesty, I have not played vanilla in a very long time. I'm just going to keep these all at default. Um, I would like to speed up some of this stuff. But it's probably not going to be the uh, uh, what you will be encountering if you just start a new game. I am going to turn on scripts. I'm going to turn on spectator so I can actually take a screenshot. Uh, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. I don't want that on. Jetpack, okay. Remote block removal. Uh, that, I don't care about that. We're not going to have any combat. Um, yeah, we'll just keep the drones on. I'm not sure if that's going to actually do anything. Enable auto respawn. Cool. So, SE tutorial series vanilla. So I am going to go start it up. Uh, it should theoretically load in really fast because I have no mods installed. So it should just be a snap of the fingers. And we are loaded maybe. There we go. <clears throat> now that that loading screen has disappeared. I was actually expecting it to uh, go a lot faster than it actually did. So we are starting here um, as a brand new player, just starting into a single player game. You're going to have these options. Uh, they all have their own little difficulty setting here. See, this is easy oxygen, 90% planet gravity one, uh, zero oxygen, hard alien planet, normal oxygen, 10%, so you could survive with air vents. Titan, uh, just planet gravity. Mars, just gravity. Uh, Europa, which is probably one of the absolute most impossible starts. Space pod and spacesuit. So for the sake of this tutorial, this uh, series, we're gonna drop in the Earth-like drop pod. So let's go respawn and see where we end up because this is all random oh joy it looks like we are ending up in a desert of some sort oh, that's a precarious uh, landing zone oh, it's not too bad I guess could be better We definitely want to get, want to move this pod as quickly as possible. So it will automatically lock. And welcome to Earth. Um, what you're seeing me in right now is the uh, the veteran 2.0 suit. This is what you get when you uh, complete the uh, learning to survive scenario. So I am going to first open up my mask, although that really doesn't matter because 
when you're in an oxygenated environment, your suit will actually refill itself uh, from your environment. So you can keep the the visor closed as long as you want, and you will still not run out of oxygen as long as you're in an Earth-like oxygenated area. So let's just uh, step over here. I'm going to quickly enable spectator mode. I am down there. Whoop, too far. Mainly so I can take a picture here. Whoops. Uh, I'm going to turn off that cursor. Uh, just temporarily. Uh, graphics. I uh, know it's under game, right? Game crosshair. So that I can get a uh, decent picture here. those off. Oh. Why did it do that? Okay. Doesn't really matter. So this will be my, I guess, my thumbnail. We're, we're pretty crooked there. That looks good. So let's do my thumbnail. There we go. Ooh, what did I just do? Okay. Sometimes my fingers are, my button presses are just whatever. So we've landed. We're on an Earth-like planet. It looks like the sun is uh, coming up, so that's good, I think. So, the first thing that we want to do is just dig in. Uh, we need to drill and get some rock. Uh, the best way of doing this is don't use this topsoil stuff. Um, it doesn't give you as much rock, so it just eats up your time. Uh, you want to, uh, for the time being, just right click in, like so, until you hit your rock layer, which should be coming up soon. rock layer okay that's actually quite unexpected it's it's all sand over here is some decent rock but we're pretty far away from our drop pod here so let's just I guess we'll just uh, collect some rock here. make ourselves a little bitch so that our rock doesn't fall off the edge. And just keep on digging until you get a suit full of rock. Now, if you ever need to recharge your suit, just hop in, hop, hop back into your uh, seat over here. Uh, you can hop into your seat. Or, you can use the new survival kit on the back here. Uh, this will recharge your energy, recharge any oxygen and hydrogen if you have access to it. And this survival kit is one of the most important things we can have right now. 
unfortunately because I didn't change my inventory size it doesn't like to hold a lot so with that so we go to the inventory we go to production this area and go to ingots so in the survival kit we have three items here we have ingots we have basic tools and basic components the basic components are computers construction components displays girders interior plates motors solar panels or solar cells and steel plate so what we're going to do is hold control click shift so hold control and shift and then click the mouse button a couple of times control increases your uh, your selection by 10 shift increases it by 100 so control shift is 10 times 100 which is 1000 I know basic math right uh, we got to get more rock this is probably the longest part of it but it's, it's essential and it could take you a while I would highly recommend you increase your uh, your uh, collection and inventory size and all that stuff in the advanced tab there. And just select your thing, toss it in there. I have like no cargo space. I might be able to toss this into like a cargo container if we have one available but those don't hold a lot and we just keep on doing this for a little bit drill a hole collect some stone drill a hole collect some stone uh, soon we will be able to uh, make it a lot quicker We'll engineer something to actually inventory, inventory, inventory create uh, sorry get get stone and stuff faster container Let's see it does not hold a lot So the most, the biggest limiting factor of this is this inventory size. Uh, the small steel, uh, the survival kit, uh, will turn 500 stone, just raw stone, into a variety of uh, items. So you get gravel, you'll get iron, you'll get nickel, and you'll get silicon from this. That that's all the basics that you get from this. You won't be able to put any any basic. Uh, ores in here like iron or basic nickel or basic silicon etc uh, it only takes stone so the only thing you can put in here is stone so we'll just keep on getting more stone here uh, we'll explore those unknown signals at a later time but right now, our most important thing is to Inventory transfer full. everything over to a solid, uh, solid base. So just keep on dropping your ores into here, and then from there, we can create some plates. So I'm just going to create. So I'll go up here: ingots, basic tools, basic components. Click basic components. From here you can create steel plates. So because we are limited in our, uh, our resources right now, uh, probably just queue up about 20 of them. Uh, that way we can put down some uh, basic stuff and get, get a basic platform down. Uh, while you're doing this, however, there are some things that you can do to speed things up a bit. Uh, first off, if you grind down certain things, like this landing gear for instance, grind down the landing gear just to below the red line, right? So it's below the red line, it's no longer functional. 
then weld it back up, you'll see that I have unlocked new blocks. Now, the G menu, so basic thing, is, uh, basic keyboard is G menu brings up this list. Uh, progression. Uh, there is a progression system in here, so in order to get uh, to build anything beyond a basic assembler here, you need a basic assembler. Uh, steel block, you need blocks, etc. Uh, to get ladders, you need to build an interior wall. Like, completely build an interior wall. Interior walls can only be built on large stations, on, on station blocks or uh, large ship blocks. That's what this little icon here is. So if you see, I'm selecting the light armor block here. Over here are two icons. We have small ship requirements, large ship slash station requirements. Uh, some things can only be built on a large ship. Like the basic refinery can only be built on a large ship. Uh, the landing gear can be built on either a small ship or a large ship or station. Whenever I say large ship, I mean large ship or station. Uh, H2O2 generator can actually build, be built on small ship as well. Why do I have two of these? <laughs> That's interesting. Uh, medium cargo containers. These can be built on... Uh, these medium cargo containers can only be built on a small ship. <clears throat> Small cargo containers can be built on a small ship or a large ship. And large cargo containers can be built on a small ship or large ship. Simple, right? So our next uh, plan of attack here is we need to get enough steel plates to set up a platform, which I have done for the most part. So we have 20 steel plates. And we're kind of on a wobbly, uh, on a slanted terrain. Not not a, not the greatest spawn point, but we will make it do. Make it, uh, yeah, make it do. Make do with it. That's what I meant. Uh, if you press B, uh, you'll see that it's showing me things like free placement mode gravity align placement mode and local grid align placement mode this is not really that important at the moment however uh, gravity placement will place it with the gravity so if you're on a gravity surface like this it will place it um, uh, level with gravity as level as you could possibly get free placement which is this one you will have to uh, move around um, with page up, page down, etc. See how I'm moving that? Now, if you're a brand new player, you will have uh, a info section here. Uh, let's see what I can find. Uh, show rotation hints. This will be on by default. So, home goes that way, end goes that way. Page down. I uh, would we'll go like that. Delete, insert, etc. Uh, but what we're going to do, or what I'm going to do, is just align it with local gravity. So plop it down there, and just build yourself out a little platform. You don't have to finish these blocks because they're not really that important. Uh, if you want to unlock the things that finishing a block will do, just tear down one of these quickly. Mm. Yeah, just tear it down and just place another block. And you'll unlock some new blocks. Now it's left click for this default. Uh, right click does nothing on the uh, the grinder on the drill left click drills so it just does general drilling and right click uh, uh, does destroying uh, destroy drilling so basically 
Uh, if I right click here, I'm going to turn my crosshair back on. Gameplay, show crosshair. Um, if I right click here, that's how I how I built this. So right click just destroys the uh, the terrain and doesn't actually um, uh, create any any ore, any ingots, any ore, something like that. A uh, while left click will create bits of ore or dirt or stone or whatever. So we'll just put that quickly in here. So we have a general platform here. Our first priority once we get that down is to get some power going to the platform. So we will go in here. We'll go to the production tab. Uh, and these are the components that we're going to need. However, we don't know how many we're going to need. So default on the bottom of the screen here, um, I can't really select it, but on the bottom of the screen you see one, two, three, four, etc. A seven is the wind turbine. This is your primary power source on a planet with an atmosphere. Now this will only work on a planet with an atmosphere. If you're on a planet which has no atmosphere, it's not gonna work. You're gonna have to use something else like solar panels or whatnot. But planet with an atmosphere, you can create wind turbines. Now to create a wind turbine, we need the following. We need 40 interior plates. So let's just queue up 40 interior plates. Uh, control, one, two, three, four. So there it is. We need uh, eight motors. So production, go back over here, eight motors. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We need 20 construction components. So again, you're going to hit hold control, one and two. So we're clicking one, clicking two. So that gives us 10 times two is 20. Math, right? Then we need uh, 24 girders. So production, back here, girders, that's this one. One, two, three, four, one, two. So 24 girders. Uh, two And two computers. So that's pretty simple, right? Uh, back here, and computers, one, two. Now that's enough to create a, warp, a wind turbine. Now we don't want to go overboard with the components that we're making at the very beginning because you will run out of materials before you can get all the components you need in place. So if you wanted to, say, build a uh, hundred steel plates, right? That's going to take uh, seven iron ingots uh, times a hundred. So 70, uh, seven, 70 times a hundred, so 700 iron ingots. So that's a lot of materials to be using at the very beginning here. You want to use as very little as possible and just keep on mining stone. Get all your items in place. And then plop things down. So we have nine steel plates here. We're going to uh, wait until this is done. It should be done quickly here. Okay. So we have enough items, enough materials to create a wind turbine. So now that we have that, we're going to place our wind turbine. Now, do not place a wind turbine on uh, too low. Uh, the higher you go on a wind turbine and the more clearance that is around the wind turbine, the better air you're going to get for that turbine. So we're going to build this up to, say, about uh, six. So we'll go from here. Uh, use your jetpack. Um, actually, do I have a jetpack? Yeah, I have a hydrogen bottle. So you'll see in your 
O2 H2 generator that you actually have hydrogen and oxygen. This is very important. Uh, hydrogen allows you to la stay in the air for a longer amount of time, and oxygen allows you to, well, keep breathing for a longer amount of time. Now, it's not necessary, it's not needed on a planet with lots of oxygen, like this Earth-like planet, but when you're dealing with uh, space or the moon or anything of that sort that has a very low oxygen, you're going to need one of these. Uh, make sure you find as much ice as you can possibly get. But right now we're not too concerned about that. Uh, we do want to uh, get more ice so we can actually refill our hydrogen bottles. But currently I am not seeing any uh, ice, any uh, way to get ice currently from my point of view. I might find something over in that direction, but I can't get over there yet. Uh, we will modify this just slightly so that we can helicopter fly over there. So let, let's get our wind turbine down. So we have a hydrogen, which is our basic jet, uh, jet pack fuel. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Put down the wind turbine and weld it up. Once that's welded up, we're going to have power, free power for that matter. And by the looks of it, it's producing a lot of power. So now that this grid's powered, we need to add something to this grid to uh, require that power. So essentials are, let's get our survival kit over there. That should be one of the first things that we transfer over because now we have free power. If this thing ever runs out of power, our survival kit is no longer going to be active. So as you can see, we have three, three uh, uh, blips on our battery power. That's about 75% charge, which can last if we sit in here and after we recharge up to two real time days right um i'm not 100 certain on that but it'll last up to two days be that game time or real time i think it's real time days uh the time is in real time so if this is uh if this was an online world and i left it running that will eventually run out in two full days while this with our turbine will not run out of power. As long as there's atmosphere, we're going to get power from that. Uh, the main difference here, oh, what's going on here? I'm gonna add one more thing to my uh, bar here. We are going to add the survival kit. So we're just gonna drag the survival kit over to any one of these numbers. I'm just gonna put it on one for safety's sake. And the survival kit is going to require uh, 30 steel plates, five computers, one display, four motors, etc. Now, the survival kit that's actually attached to this has everything we need, with the exception to the steel plate. Uh, we're going to need 30 steel plate. This has six steel plate in it. So we're at a deficit of 24 steel plate. So we're going to need 24 extra steel plate before we transfer this over to our powered grid. So let's get that sorted out. Uh, so one, two, three, four, one, two. So there's 24. Oh, I ran out of stone. I ran out of materials. So it's a good thing I didn't tear that down yet. So let us go into our hole here and just keep on gathering some stone. I think I'm not going to be gathering as much stone from this hole because it is mostly sand. So it's less efficient to actually be digging the stone from this hole than it is that other hole that I put down. 
yeah, that should have pretty much filled me up. So I'm going to go over to that other area, which is just over here. This is mostly rock. And I'm just going to drill out. So I'm left click drilling here so that I get uh, stone drops. And I'm also holding F. Inventory full. Holding Inventory F allows full. you to catch as much stone as you can possibly catch uh, while drilling. So now we should have enough materials to finish off our steel plates. Oh, no, I think we're going to be short. Yeah, we're going to be short. So let's go grab some more stone. Now this is basically what you got to do at the very beginning of, uh, the beginning of the game. Is drill and collect stone and all that stuff. It's not the funnest, but it's necessary right now. Inventory full. Uh, one of the benef one of the next things that we should put over there is a refinery, a basic refinery. The basic refinery will have more cargo space for uh, inputted ores, and it will it will automatically convert stone into these basic minerals. So gravel, nickel, silicon, and iron. So it's very important that we get that up as quickly as possible. Uh, some people might say get the assembler up first, but you can build everything you need in the survival kit for the refinery. And I believe, and I, I think the refinery, the basic refinery is more important than the actual assembler uh, at the beginning of the game. So we're just going to collect another suit load of stone. get this stone in here I'll take those plates after the survival kit we can put up the basic refinery but we really don't need to have the survival kit on the powered grid yet but we'll probably want to do that as soon as possible uh, so right now we are going to Take those plates, uh, take everything out of the survival kit here, and we're going to grind down the survival kit. Now this is, this is dangerous because once your survival kit is gone, you will have no place to respawn. Uh, so you want to transfer that over as quickly as possible. Uh, before something happens uh, you could uh, be drilling a hole and somehow you get stuck in the voxels and die well if that happens and you have no available survival kit well you're pretty much screwed so transfer that over as soon as possible uh, it has two slots on e either side so it's a good idea just to uh, put it somewhere central, like here, and get this uh, welded up. Once that's welded up, it's attached to a powered grid, and we don't have to worry about uh, uh, dying anytime soon, because, or restarting for that matter, because this will constantly get power from that wind turbine. Uh, how much power we're getting, I am not certain. Let's see. We're getting 398.81 kilowatts. That is a lot of power. It will require two, almost three solar panels, equivalent, pointing directly at the sun throughout the day uh, to come out with this much power. So optimal is definitely good. 
So we have the survival kit over here. We're going to transfer everything back over to this. Now, you notice that once we got the survival kit on the base, we doubled our capacity. We can put more stuff in here. And those don't even have to be in that area. This can just be for stone. Just toss all your stone in here and it will process it once you actually set this up to process the stone into this stuff. So now that we got the survival kit up, what do we need next? Uh, we want to build our refinery. Uh, ideally, I'd like to build a carg container, uh, but we're missing one particular component, which we can actually get off of there. Actually, I think we can get it off the landing gears. Nope. Uh, it's the metal grids. You need four metal grids for a large grid cargo container. Um, so I think I'm going to, we got our survival kit over here. I'm going to put a quick cut in here and then I will come back and we will continue on for another half hour or so. Okay, I will be right back. Ciao for now. Bye.